Welcome back to our Sabre virtual demos. These videos explain different features of Business Central and their related products. And in this video, I'm going to be looking at item variants and their use on forecasts. So here I'm opening up my Business Central and we'll notice a few new setups that weren't there before. So the first one is in your manufacturing setup. So if I look here, it says use forecast on variance. So this is going to turn on your demand forecast and the ability for it to recognize that you're going to be setting up your forecast based on the variant on the item card. If I go and I look at my items list, I can see here that I've got a t-shirt and if I take a look at the different information, I can go ahead and I can look at the variants. So you'll notice that on my t-shirt, I have three variants, large, medium, and small, so that I can determine what I need to forecast for each of these categories. Now I can navigate to my demand forecast where I enter in the forecast for the different periods. So I don't have one created. So let's say I'm creating a 2022 sales forecast. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to edit that forecast. So if I expand here, I'm able to see the traditional demand forecast overview screen that I'm used to seeing. I have the same capability to be able to update my view. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to update this by month. But what I can do by drilling into April, as an example, is I can open up, I can click on new, and I can add information about, say, for example, the small variant. And I've got a location code, I've got a date, and I can enter my forecast quantity. And I can carry on and I could enter in forecast for, say for example, my variant code of medium. And then I can enter in 150 for medium. I can carry on for large if needed, or I can just leave just small and medium as my forecast for that month. So here I can see that 250 is my overall forecast for t-shirts, but by drilling in, I can see that 150 is for the medium and 100 is for the small. So I can drill down to a little bit more visibility, and then what I'm able to do is run my planning worksheet and have the system take my forecast and create suggestions for me if needed the same way that we were able to do in previous versions. Visit our website or click the link in the description to check out our blog on this and other impressive new features that enhance the manufacturing capabilities in Business Central as well. Thank you for watching our videos. Please follow our channel by clicking here to stay up to date with the latest content or click here for more great videos. Don't forget to visit our website at saberlimited.com. We look forward to seeing you next time.